All right, guys, so I was gone at school for a while. Now I'm back home for the summer with the tanks, and I wanted to make a quick video about something that I noticed in this tank when I got back. So when I first looked in the tank, I noticed there was some blackbeard algae on uh, the java fern leaves near the top of the tank. So first I was kind of surprised because I haven't had problems with algae in this tank for quite a while. You know, it's pretty established. Uh, so I was thinking, well, maybe it's something with the maintenance issues because um, my parents are taking care of the tank while I'm away. Uh, but then I put my hand in the tank and it was a lot colder than I would have expected. So I quick checked on the heater and put a thermometer in there and checked the temperature of the water. And the heater wasn't turning on and the temperature was like 68 degrees. So it's a lot colder than it normally is. I normally keep it at like 77. So then I did some more research online and apparently blackbird algae prefers colder temperatures. Uh, natively grows better in winter. Also, just algae in general is going to have the advantage over the plants because the colder the temperatures of the water, the slower the plants are going to grow. Also, the fish were not moving as actively as they should be, so that was another uh, sign that the temperature was getting a little too cold. So I um, yeah, just thought that was interesting I wanted to share. I'd never really had thought about the relationship between temperature and algae in the past, so I found that kind of interesting. And now that I put a new heater in the tank and cranked it back up to 77, everything looks uh, fine. The algae is not spreading. In fact, it kind of has withered away. I'll probably make an update in a few weeks to confirm that. But yeah, I just wanted to share. If you guys have any other ideas for videos or questions, please leave a comment and I'll uh, try to make a video or just answer your comment while I'm back home for the summer. And as always, thanks for watching.